So I'm gonna grow an Instagram theme page from zero to 10,000 followers. I'm gonna show you every step along the way, the tips, the tricks, and the growth hacks that I learn. All I ask in return is that you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. So my name's Johnny, and for the past five months, I've been growing an Instagram theme page called Breakup Blueprint, and I've almost got it to 2,000 followers. Along this way, I have learned so much, and for the first 90 days, check out this video to watch that story. But what's happened to the algorithm? Everything has changed, and the easy ways that you could grow your account before have changed slightly. I'm gonna show you my findings of the last two months to make sure that you don't get stuck on zero views and limiting your reach compared to your followers. I've analyzed the big accounts that are still growing and I've spoken to some of the Instagram experts and what they say is gonna blow your mind. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I cover all the tips and the reasons why, one, you're struggling to grow your account, two, your reels aren't getting any views, and three, why suddenly your reach for your account has dropped off completely. For the past 60 days, the ways in which I was having success in growing my account have completely stopped working. That means one thing, the algorithm has changed. People always say this, ah oh, la la, algorithms change, whatever, but this time it actually has. Reels have stopped getting reach and exposure to your account, and I think Instagram is trying to stop the spammy type same content being reshared everywhere. Don't worry, I have the answers to your needs. You can still use Reels, but you have to be more creative. So I ran a little experiment to see actually whether the algorithm has changed and this is what I did. On my account I uploaded the same piece of content as a reel and as a post and the results are conclusive evidence that Instagram is now pushing posts over reels especially swipe posts. So these are the analytics of the accounts and the difference are so obvious and it proves that the Instagram algorithm has changed. So it was a viral piece of content when Andrew Tate was released from prison. Let me pop up the insights and as you can see the reel only reached 276 people even though at the time you had over 1,600 followers. Of our actual followers only 196 of them got actually reached and then 80 of them were non-followers. So you are still getting a bit of exposure to non-followers, but not much. So now the interesting part, the same piece of content, but posted as a swipe video got 838 likes. Let's pop up the insights and see how drastically different these performed. So this reached 25,500 accounts, 471 of our followers. So almost double the previous one, but it reached 25,000 non-followers, which is nuts. And as you can see, it led to 133 profile visits and 28 follows. So for me, that's conclusive evidence that the algorithm has changed. So let's learn from the accounts that I've spoken to and why your reels are not getting views. The unfortunate truth is your account branding and the fact that you're not making original content. At the end of the video, I'll show you how you can still repurpose other people's content in a creative way and get over this new algorithm change. But the truth is that Instagram is stopping the spammy resharing of content. These two accounts, which I've personally personally spoken to and been in contact with have received incredible growth because they've got great branding, they've carved out their own niche and they're creating their own content, original content, and it's all getting consistent views. There's none of this, one has 10,000 reach, one has 200 reach. The views kind of reflect the number of followers they have, or the, at least the lowest average amount of views, which I think is the crucial difference between people resharing other people's content and people creating their own content. So let me show you examples of these. So the first account I'm gonna show you is Stoic Transcendence. So this is a really good account that's creating all their own original content they've carved out a great niche and they've created a great brand so what you can go through and you can learn from is that one they're not posting a ton of reels it looks like they're posting two reels a day and one picture post a day which seems to be the sweet spot and what they've done amazingly is that they've carved out this simple easy branding and people know when they follow account they're going to get inspiring stoic wisdom daily so what you need to do is you need to look on your account and think right how can i carve out within my niche if you're too generic if you're just repurposing other people's content, that's okay to get reach, but you need to find a way to make it branded under your thing. And at the end, I'll show you the biggest account in the finance niche and how they're doing this so well. But as you can see, when you scroll through the reels, I don't think any of their reels hit less than the amount of followers they have. As soon as they've got a good branding, they've reached at the minimum their followers and many more. So the next person I wanna show you is Andrew Tate True. And this is again, carved out his own brand, carved out his own niche. It's specific, everything to do with Andrew Tate. I'm pretty sure that he creates every Every single piece of content from scratch always doing occasional remixes but again most of these have the same amount of views as he had followers so it makes sense so you're probably thinking Johnny give me the answers I don't want to be creating all my own original content I want an easy way to grow this account this is supposed to be passive income I've got the solution here for you and let's dive into Instagram account wealth and how they're combining creating original content and the Instagram algorithm change and still able
able to reshare other people's content through Reels. I'm going to drop you a Canva template on how you could copy their exact strategy and their exact content format. Let's jump into analyzing this page. So what they do is that basically they create a thumbnail for their reels with enticing, clickbaity, really engaging caption. And then you swipe to watch the reel. Simple as that. So they've created original content. It's good because Instagram's now pushing picture posts and videos. So the swipe of the carousel means that they've got tick original content, tick engaging content. People are stopping, they're reading, and then they're getting the watch time and staying on the post because of the video. And they don't have to create the videos themselves. So they're still resharing viral pieces of content. They're just creating a thumbnail for each piece of content and then sharing that. Example, the incredible story of Cristiano Ronaldo's path to football glory. They've got a simple bit of branding, swipe to watch, and then the whole page, you know for a fact that you're gonna get enticing, interesting reads to swipe, which what people, their escapism on their phone. So I hope that this has been useful. I hope that you've learned something and I hope that you don't get stuck like me in this lack of growth. So that's been the changes to the Instagram algorithm and what I've noticed from the past 60 days of growing my account, Breakup Blueprint. So to just jump into the analytics for the people who are in interested in following the journey. So in the last 90 days, I've reached 917,000 accounts, 25,000 accounts that engaged, and I have a total now of 1,886 followers. So my top performing content was that reel, but in the past 60 days, it has actually been the Andrew Tate video of the swipe thing being released from prison. So that's a wrap of the video. Make sure to watch this if you wanna see how to gain 1,000 followers as fast as possible, and make sure to watch this if you wanna learn how to create 30 days of content in one hour. I'll see you next week, your boys gone skis.